I make all these exotic films about these places uh, I go to uh, around Europe and uh, I don't actually film my own street and places. So I thought I'd do that today. This is Norwich and uh, this is the area I, I live in. I say live in because I don't really live in it so much these days. Uh, in fact, very, very rarely. But this is the northern part of Norwich and this is very close to my home. This area here is called Tombland. It's very close to the centre of Norwich. Even here on the left there's the entrance to the cathedral and the wonderful architecture. It's a very ancient place. The word tomb in uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, meant something like empty. Uh, it's probably a marketplace or something like that and this is undoubtedly the most attractive part of the entire city wonderful architecture the entrance to the cathedral this is Norwich Cathedral it's built at the end of the 11th century so it's now more than 900 years old it's been uh, wonderfully restored inside and, and, and the brick looks uh, looks like new in many places. Uh, on the, the roof is made from stone. It was one of the earliest stone uh, roofs. It was, caught, it was built by stone because the steeple collapsed onto the, uh, onto the wooden roof and destroyed it. And uh, so it was replaced in, I think, the 14th or 15th centuries and with uh, stone which came from uh, the area of Caen in Normandy uh, which was a fantastic logistical effort including even big build digging of a canal to actually bring it here. The roof itself has a number of things called bosses which are uh, a bit commemorate various things from the Bible and from the uh, New Testament. Unfortunately, I don't really like people uh, filming inside, and uh, as I am potentially a person who films for uh, commercial purposes, although I mean, I don't, I don't want to charge anybody, no, but I mean, arguably it is for commercial purposes, so I'm not going to film inside. Um, it is quite, it is really quite wonderful inside. What a wonderful door as well. And look at these buildings which have attached to the. Uh, to the cathedral, absolutely wonderful. Uh, these are the cloisters of uh, the cathedral. These wonderful coats of arms on the walls. Oh, it's a bit, a bit cold out today. Today's the second of December. 2008. It's raining in the air. It wasn't earlier, but it is now. Here we have a wonderful view of the from the cloisters, looking up to this magnificent. Quite a wonderful symbol of uh, medieval technology that they were able to build this, of course, at great cost and at great suffering uh, from the people who had to pay for it through enforced taxation. So next to the cathedral, we have these wonderful uh, buildings, brick and flint, 
which is sort of a typical Norwich, uh, Norfolk, uh, Northern Norfolk of that style. This is one of the entrances down towards the uh, cathedral. From Tombland. Just in front is the pub which is called the Edith Cavell. Edith Cavell um, was born uh, quite close to Norwich, about six kilometres from where we are now. And uh, she's uh, well known as being a nurse who in October 1915 was shot uh, by the German military authorities in Brussels. Uh, as a nurse she'd been there for a number of years and uh, she was then 50 years old. Uh, her father had set up some kind of a nursing home or something there. She was a person who was uh, extremely honest. She helped both sides, both British and um, German wounded, irrespective of their nationality. She gave help. Um, as, but she also helped th those British and Belgian troops who had been cut off by the German advance to actually move on. Uh, during her trial, she believed uh, in telling absolute truth and she gave away the entire um, uh, chain of who people were, were going to because she absolutely believed in the truth. Um, she was sentenced to death. The British authorities did nothing. Well, obviously Britain was at war with Germany. The American authorities did complain. They tried to do something to help her, but uh, nothing happened. In fact, the, um, the, the German count who was in charge of military justice uh, said that uh, he wished he had four or five old British women to shoot. She also has a monument uh, in London, which is on the Trafalgar, um, Trafalgar Square. No, no, it's, it's just off the north of Trafalgar Square. But she also has things in many, many other countries, in Canada, in Australia. Um, in Nice, for example, there's a street after her. And even on Venus, there's a crater or something like that named after her as well. Now this wonderful uh, old house which stands there was used as one of the billets for uh, the, the royalist troops, the king's troops during the 1549 uh, Ketz Rebellion, which was a no local Norfolk rebellion. Um, the king was then the nine-year-old um, Edward VII, who died six years later. Have I got that right? Five years later, I can't remember. Nine, nine, ten years old and uh, the King's troops were held there. The lo there was a local rebellion against the usual sort of things, bad treatment and what have you. Unfortunately, they, uh, the Ketz brothers were captured and uh, later executed after fighting the, king the King's troops very, very well. <laughs> 